well, I'd say I don't know how long this one's going to be, but did decide I'd take a little moment to come back on just to try to demonstrate a little turnout of the pig. So we know that this could take any amount of time, so this is kind of how it is when you work with this thick denim for another thing. It kind of does you like this, so we're going to try to work our way around all this and think I'm going to have to curve out the points on the hooves because I just turned out one yesterday and I'd say that it didn't do too good when it came down to the hooves because they're kind of pointed and have those points at the end and this is a real thick material so have to see how this is going to work when it comes down to making it come the rest of the way out and all so we got a little time where we got the tail in by now I think we're going to try to do a little work to try to get the little hooves to come out and get the little feet to come out and make the little pig just as it needs to come out just to be and see how this is going to turn out when we get a little bit more done here and I say that this is just one of those things that's going to come along to make its way unto us and how we kind of finish it we don't know exactly how it's going to be but we're going to make it kind of turn out all for the better and all for the good and sometimes just sometimes I say that just a little work shall measure up to what we need and what we do and kind of come down to where we're finishing this work just as it shows and just as it does and then kind of make it where like we say it's pretty tough to make this way out and kind of get the rest of this to go its way right through and see how the pig shall have a little hoof on the end of its foot and come on and make it where oh good little porks I say I just remember all those old cartoons about Porky Pig you know I tell you there were all those reruns of it on TV from when I was a kid and Nickelodeon played them all the time oh I tell you all them old days you know strange old days all the things we've seen all the things we do true screw it I say oh work shall just find itself one good way to measure up to what we have what we do I tell you and like it comes along it just makes it so we're seeing just one thing that this will come out as just a little thing that we see in a big old pig sometimes they can be the creatures that well, our omnivores, they eat both meat and plants. I know one thing I heard is, is there's this, this lady who's like the assistant manager at where I work. I mean, at the end of the day, after they kind of chop up all the lettuce and cabbage and vegetables, there's a certain amount of it that is left over that she takes home in a bag and feeds it to her pigs. She has a farm and even uh, like one thing I heard from her is how that they kind of feed the pigs vegetables and even though pigs can eat meat she said that when you feed them meat it causes them to become mean she knows something about that and of course we know that wild pigs of course 
you know, they eat some meat food as well as some plant food, and they go out and, you know, eat some animals, and so, you know, and I said to her, well, then, no wonder wild pigs are so mean. Yes, we got all those wild pigs, like the wild boar and the warthog and the bush pig and the giant forest hog and them, you know, they can kind of get a little fierce if you get into their territories, so you kind of got a little bit of them to just kind of watch out for. I mean, and, and you know, it's kind of like how when it comes to pot belly pigs, for example, you know, people keep pot belly pigs as pets, even in the city, even where I live. I mean, I tell y'all, I just learned from my life experiences just how much responsibility an animal can be, and even the ones that just stay in little glass aquariums all the time that can be resorted to those. I mean, it's even hard enough just to kind of keep them clean when you're busy. So the last little pet I had was a little toad and gave it back to the pet store I bought it from because I was getting busy enough that I was kind of running out of time and ways to take care of it. So kind of wanted it to have a good clean home so gonna <coughs> just I'd say did that for all the better and this is just one of those things where we're coming down to and I tell you sometimes with this denim even these knitting needles can poke little holes sometimes you'll have to go back and sew those little holes back up even from the outside, but it's okay. It's the kind of thing that I guess you can say it's going to happen with your work now and then, and it's going to do that sort of thing and make it so you're going to try to work about it. And some creatures, I'd say, you know, they're probably the kind of creatures that can kind of turn out that way anyway, just depending on how you make them and how you do them. So, I'd say if they're probably one of those creatures that are a mess by nature, they, it might even not be too bad for them to have those little holes you poke into them just by turning them out. I'm thinking that, like we say, we're going to kind of do a little change to these patterns one day, try to make them so they're going to come out a little better for us and do us a little better for what we have and what we do I say this little work is just fine and dandy and I say working away about it I tell y'all that a little work shall come and go and make its way about us I say oh little time and work we make about things it's like we're going to try to get a little bit turned out here creatures like this when they have as many points and curves in them and especially when they're made out of this thick denim they can take a little while to turn out but that'll always be okay in the long run because sometimes just sometimes you know it kind of helps a little bit because even if it is a little more work or what most people would consider a little harder to do, that's what makes it more special, that's what makes it more unique, that's what makes it a better character for a piece of art or a priceless work. I say in the long run, you know, kids can be loving these. Sometimes even grown-ups kind of buy them too because they just like the little ways things turn out. And it's kind of like how some people like things that are handmade better than they do things made by a factory. Because when they're made by a factory, they all turn out the same. But when they're made by hand, they all turn out different. Even with those pigs I had that were standing all on, on all fours. There was a lady at McLeod's Coffee House who bought one of those from me and she picked out the one she liked because she liked the way its ears were shaped and how its ears were positioned and 
how its face was and things like that compared to how all the others that were sewn by hand turned out. So this is just one of those ways that we kind of make things, get things done, work about what we do. And I tell y'all that that's one of the things that even this denim that is covered in stains can be best for because it kind of makes good creatures that come out so good and come out like maybe you'd say a creature of that nature probably should. They're the type of creatures that roll in the mud and make a mess and all kinds of strange things I say. And that's how we're getting this turned out. We got the hooves and the tail first. They're the hardest part of it to turn. And now we kind of got to get to where we kind of make it out the rest of the way. What you'll notice interesting about this is that with the last one I did, I kind of turned out the ears and sewed them in place before I sewed it together in the front and back. But whenever it comes to video making, sometimes it kind of gets a little bit harder to remember what you do and the steps you take and the order you take them in. So this is where we kind of have to come along and do things the best we can for the way the video's making it turn out. And so, and it's a time when lots going on. So it's hard to kind of think of everything we need to do at a time like this. So I say we're going to try to turn it out just right, make it so it's going to come out with good old ears and all. And I say that this is just one little thing where we kind of make the ears come out just in good enough ways to make it so we have a pig that kind of shows itself to us and put little places where these ears shall just come and turn out and make it so we're going to see a little light of day, work our way through it, work our way about it, and oh, I say little times and works and all these things we say we do, I tell y'all that this is just one little type of work that shall make its way to us, make its way through us, make us see how this is going to fit us for the best fit us for the better. Oh, I say, time to get a little work done here and put the little ears just in the right places, right where they ought to be and right where they need to be and kind of get them so they're going to come out and make their way about us and see how this is going to worship our lives and make us see a little light in our days and brighten up in our times and finally we got it turned out the rest of the way and think we're gonna do a little thing here where like I mentioned in the last one we're going to make a place where we sew along the lines of the ears to kind of keep them a little more flat. So I say we got a little thread over here. Kind of take it and just got a short little strand and put it in. Kind of work our way. Make it so we're going to kind of put a little work to what we do work to what we have and kind of see how this is just one little way we kind of have a little strand or two to take and oh little work we say we have and do and bless us all with all we have and all we make well here this little pig 
we're going to kind of put a little thread in to kind of make its ear go in place, put it on, and kind of work our way along and try to place the thread in and kind of make it so we got a knot to go in its place and some little ways we take this a little further it shall work our way about us to see us all in a little light coming our way brighten our days and oh little things we see and do and know and oh bright lights kind of come oh little work shall be of good cheer to us oh little ways a little light is good in us oh little tame things that see how we do and all the time when we kind of work away about this it's just kind of turning out for a little better news to you and me to see how this little pig shall be on its way and see how it shall come to know what we have in store and get little times when this little work shall be rewarding to us. It's a rewarding thing to do when you get finished with what you have and what you do and all the little things I say, oh bright little light times, and oh little work of light, oh to put a little time in everything we have, I say, bless the little children of the work and the world, and I say, oh little light, this is how we do, and kind of put a little time where we cut along a little line, make it so it's just going to be the thing we need it to be it's going to take us where we're going to go over to this other ear to about the center of it kind of put a little knot in there to make it so it's going to be just the way we need it to be to close the ear in place and make the next little knot to go through and just work our way along that and then just a little another thread another little stitch or two working about this and I say we're about done with two different pigs here and this is how it's going to be when we all get down to the very work of things. Here this is what we do. We tremble at our work and bow down and see how a little life is good in us and oh works its way in us little time it kind of work around that but we got little sewing away to do kind of make little stitches and threads so they come along make it so pigs can be like the ones that waller in the mud and eat all the garbage and slop and whatever else they do and come down to where we have the very thing we see in the end and this is just the way it's turned out to be we had some well I tell y'all we'll start to demonstrate something a little here because I see there does happen to be some polyester stuffing over here so kind of put a little bit into the top of the head right above where we're going to sew in the place for the eye and kind of get it so it's going to be in a 
good place for a little pig look to be and then kind of just make one little sewing line in there and just kind of try to get a little thread right in go the rest of the way into the the between the eyes and just see how this will just be a little good way to make a little thing or two come out I say we kind of got to move this a little stuff just go down a little bit and see how we kind of do just what we have in what we are and in the little things of life we kind of got to make where the little snout is just going to be in the place where it needs to be we got the snout kind of crooked there it didn't turn out all the way as good as it ought to have been so we got a little work to put into that make it so we kind of sew the little lines up make it so we're kind of seeing little brighter days and things to work about the little pigs little work oh I say brighter days is just what it comes down to really 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 being and then I think since I see the snout got a little crooked I think I'm gonna take this and kinda go in there and straighten it out a little more to look the way a pig's snout ought to look kinda got it fixed a little more there and as for now just little ways to go just to try to get a little bit more into the eye make it so it kind of sees positively and brightly and all the things we kind of need for it to turn out to be so I say I say this is kind of turns out to be a four part video series and we can stuff it a little more up into the head make it so that the head turns out a little better and so we kind of got a place here where even in the back of the head we put a little stuffing in to kind of make it turn out the way a pig ought to do and then kind of show how this is going to be a little ways we stuff the thing and make it so it's going to be so good and nice and kind for all we're going to see when we get finished with the work and come by this time and kind of get it a little more stuffed into place and then I say I say that um there's kind of little places where we sort of put a little stuffing down into the hand and into the arm and make it so the it's going to be just what it kind of comes out seeing a little pig do its thing and I tell y'all the little bit of extra time and work going into this piece we're going to see happy little pigs and things and oh I tell y'all that makes funny little rhymes funny little puns makes me think of a friend I have who has a little pug which is a type of dog and talks about all the messes the pug makes and all the messes the pug gets into and I said say well you know that kind of makes sense of the fact that pug is like pig with a U so that's kind of like what this shall be when we get down to where we're making this little thing 
to where it's stuffed as much as it shell ought to be and kind of put little where we kind of make the little things come out as good as they all ought to come and see how little things shall work away about and do little things to see how pigs shall be the creatures that come out of this denim. And so we stuff the legs in place. Probably a few little wood chips got mixed with this polyester, but it's okay. Sometimes when you kind of do multiple projects in the same location, it'll be the kind of thing that'll happen sometimes and come down to where we're going to try to get a little work done into this body of this pig and, oh, I say work about it to uh, make it so it's going to be a little special to you and me. Just, oh, little work to come and work our way about us bless the time when we got all this time between us and time for work to do what we do and make it so we see how this little piggy is going to make its way to turn out and for it all I know that um we got it where it sits up like this and for another little thing, I say, I say that, um, we got a needle here. We're going to take what we've got here and sew up the middle here to make it so it's going to be all together where it's stuffed in the end. And this is what I chose to be the best place to put the little stuff hole so it'd be kind of underneath a little bit out of the way a little bit out of the way of being seen and just notice how it'll kind of match up to what we make of the little work we have and the little work we do i say that um this will just kind of work for us and make us all see what we need it to be and we, what we need to see in it and I say that just a little patching up shall work for the better, work for the best, see how little piggy work can be a little time consuming, and just so you know, we're about to finish up here, be finished with the whole thing, be done with the whole thing, whoa, I tell y'all that, oh, little ties of knots shall come along and be of little ways I tell y'all that there's probably a little place where we forgot to stuff the tail here but we can always come back take care of little things like that in the next one we do so it's just probably going to be a little thing so I say that you know Doing things on camera causes you to forget certain things, but I'd say y'all that it's kind of like how it was when I recorded music, for example. It was easier to mess up when I recorded than it was when I was practicing, you know. Oh, the little things in life where little pigs shall be little kind of time to make a little work to be just what we see and how we see it and what when we do it and oh I tell y'all that I'm getting done here soon it's just kind of a little thing where we kind of got the little work done in and make it out and then come back around to where we take care of the rest of the little stuff hole, sewing it closed, sewing it up, make it so it's going to be 
just a brighter little thing to feel and to see and to do and oh little work to make a little stitch up come in sooner or later and see how little pigs are going to be the creature this is going to turn out to be so done sooner or later done in a minute and finally got them complete and so maybe with a little fooling around here we might get a little stuffing into the tail but just wanted to say got them all done and so there's going to be little further steps to take we go a little further along but this is how I did for him probably good thing we didn't stuff the tail because it has that little poke hole in it so thank you for watching hope you'll subscribe if it so interests you see you in the next video and take care